clearly 40 to 60 is, is the range we've set. Um, 40 to 60, what that means in absolute dollar terms will depend on how big your PBT is. So I, 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 it's a combination of both the payout range and actually what the quantum of PBT is from which you're paying out. Inevitably, they're interested in bigger payouts, but having paid 5.2 billion in dividends thus, thus far this year, um, again, I think where, where we stand is just generating generating the profits from ongoing operations, growing capital strength, and deploying that back uh, to the shareholders in the form of dividends and, and overall growth of the firm. So we get, see, we've got a pretty good track record of, of consistently paying out dividends throughout the entire period of the global credit crisis and in the Eurozone crisis. So, so I think our investors um, expect and, and, and trust us to continue to pay out dividends at a reasonably brisk pace, just as we set out back in the main driver when you compare first half of this year to last year was the impact of the distribution of our uh, cards and retail services business in the U.S., which had uh, a very attractive net interest margin um, against that. Um, so if you if you reflect this on a group reported basis, net interest margin went from 237 to 217 for the same period, a drop of 20 basis points. When you exclude the effect of North America, um, the movement over the same period was seven basis points from 223 to 216, and and of that, uh, principally the impact was in um, was in Asia Pacific, where we saw some fairly competitive uh, pricing and pressure on on, uh, on MIMS, particularly in the trade sector. But that was mostly in the first quarter, and things have largely stabilized in the second. If China's GDP growth is 7.8% this year, which is what we expect, and 7.4% next year, it's clearly a weaker GDP growth rate than we've seen before. Um, and actually, we think that the policies that are taking place, which is a push to reform, rather than to repeat the very large fiscal stimulus that was employed through the banks, um, back in the first quarter of 2009 um, is actually very, very welcome and will help create a more sustainable um, economy. On the other hand, we've also seen indication that if there's a, a, a weakness or a chance of it falling much below the 7%, China's also indicated that it's quite prepared to um, introduce some form of stimulus. So we're reasonably sanguine, and as I say, that's a pretty big GDP growth rate on a pretty big economy. As for the disposals, the majority are complete. The majority of, of the um, disposals that were of businesses that were not of a strategic fit for HSBC have been completed. Now, there may still be some small portfolios or indeed smaller businesses, but, but as the regulatory environment continues to change, that we will also find... Um, uh, that it's necessary to sell, but the bulk of the program that I started in January of 2011 has been completed.